All right, rise up, rise up, grand rising to you. Uh, it's your brother Mark. Let me get some light on my face because it's dark. It's okay. So look, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Um, people are just coming into work and so on and so forth. And uh, I'm here to do a little bit of uh, housekeeping, make sure that uh, you know everything is to code, everything is correct. I found some things we need to fix up in the back, so yeah, they're on that right now. So I thought, yeah, and now it gives me a chance to reason with you for a moment. What I found is that we have a lot of obstacles, and I was talking about that in the last video, different obstacles that we're dealing with in order for people to be able to uh, repatriate. And not only do we have those obstacles coming from uh, the various uh, prisons that we're trying to escape from, so whether you're from a wing of the prison that's in the UK or the wing of the prison that's in Canada or you know one in the States or whatever, we're kind of dealing with 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 mad obstacles. I was talking with this one couple the other day and they were talking about how they had to, uh, they had like money over in the States that needed to come over here. Um, the bank was like, yeah, no, you can't, you can't transfer your money. But I had to fly from here back to the States to go into the branch to prove that it was him in, the, in Africa whilst his wife stayed here in order to prove yeah she is the the bank holder in order for the money to transfer i've heard stories about people who've been coming here they get a covid test the covid test come in three hours after the plane leave other people say they get a covid test the covid test come in uh, with a false positive then they can't fly they have to redo it they come back negative then they get to fly but they miss the flights and then they got to pay for another flight $10,000 they're spending just to get here I've heard so many horror stories of people trying to travel here I've had people messaging me in my whatsapp yeah my flight just been my flight has just been cancelled and I can't get out and then on top of all of that, as if that isn't enough, you have the haters and the naysayers. The people are like, why would you want to go to Africa for? You don't see in our prison how they give us these fluffy pillows. We've got fluffy pillows now because we've been, we've been you know, doing as Massa has been saying to us so well for so long. They've now said that we get an extra hour outside of in the wreck area. So why would you want to uh, leave? the comfort of this prison cell to be able to go over to that place called Africa. Don't do that. You get your family telling you, yeah, don't go. You got a system telling you, you're allowed to go, but I'm going to make it as hard as possible. <laughs> you know, you have um, people who are here. How are you? Good morning. You have people who are here from the diaspora, right? Playing some mad mind games. Some real weird stuff been happening. I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm not a, a chatty patty as, um, what's the man's name? I forget. That one was with Jay-Z, what's his name? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm not a chatty patty. I'm not gonna be sitting there chatting gossip with you. But some real weird stuff have been going on and you know, you, you, we have this idea about unity and this unity being something that is, uh, something that we should do. But what a lot of people t t tend to uh, not notice is that unity is a byproduct of something. Unity isn't something that you just aim for. It's like saying, okay, I want to be happy. All right, cool. Now be happy. Now. If you've got nothing to be happy about and so on and so forth, you can pretend to be happy, but you're not really happy. And everyone can see that. And the minute that something, ha something small happens in the corner of your life, your whole happiness facade falls away. You see, happiness is a byproduct of 
your relationship to your environment, your relationship to yourself, your relationship to your income, whether your income is high or low, is, is pretty much you know, uh, irrelevant because you'll find people who have lots of money and they're depressed and you have people who have no money, they're happy and vice versa. So it's kind of like, is your relationship to money, is your relationship to yourself, is your relationship to others, your relationship to your environment that dictates as to whether you will be happy or not. And if your relationship is correct, then you would experience happy. Same as unity. Trying to just come in like, yo, let's just be united. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're now united. And <laughs> nobody likes each other. There's no unity gonna happen. Or if people are talking unity, but then actually in their mind they're thinking, you know, Inity, like like oneity, just just me, one, nobody else. We talk unity, but we're only doing oneity. Then shoot, you're gonna find yourself in a predicament because you will be still, you'll be in another country and still doing the same thing as you were doing before, and wondering why they're in unity. It's a bit of a madness, but that happens. So we've got work to do and, you know, I noticed, um, I was, I was having a, I, I did a, I was answering a couple of comments the other day from these naysayers and uh, one person, he, he was saying, I think it's a he, I don't, I don't know, you know, these, 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 uh, these uh, names that people use, sometimes they're a bit, you know, unisex, you don't know what it means, but anyway, this person was saying what a fool Mali is, he's a fool because he should, he's one, one minute he's talking about going to Africa and how great it is and the next minute he's saying about how uh, people robbed his house and he has barbed wire on his, on his, on his house and just so, you're, just so you, you know just so we're, we're very very clear I don't work for the GT board. I'm not here to kind of um, uh, propagandize for Gambia. I'm not here to say you should come here. You will notice I always say, you know, come to the continent. I'm not here on any sort of like Team Gambia or nothing like that. I made my move five years ago. I'm still here. I'm still healthy. I'm still fine. I'm still happy as in where I compare our words back in London and where I am in my life now, I'm definitely happy. And still, you know, just as humans are, you go, okay, well, I want more, we could do more, we could do greater things. It hasn't just got to be about me and mine, we could do more for the community. So yeah, there's still more to do. So I'm not satisfied, but I'm happy. Does that make sense? And so I, I encourage other people to also look at their content. And I'm, I try to be as forthcoming as possible. I'm, I'm always honest um, in what I say. I don't try to, you know, um, pull the wool over anyone's eyes. But what I do try to do is be as forthcoming as possible, let people know what's really going on um, here. So there's positive and there's negative. And I guess that's the same anywhere. But as you watch these videos, as you decide as to, you know, whether, you, whether you're happy where you are, and if you are, you know, that's, that's of course your decision. I'm not gonna say it's right or wrong, because at the end of, this, at the, end of the day, the, the prison that we speak of goes all the way around the world. It just happened that, you know, I'm, I'm sort of like in a, you know, low security. I'm in a, you know, low security prison. And so it's a little bit more, you got a bit more space and a bit more, you know, comfort as far as feeling that you're free. And other people are dealing with, you know, supermax prison version of this system that we live under. So you get a choice as to what you want to do. It's down to you. I can give you my recommendations. I like it here. Um, I like the, the ease of which you can start a business. I like the simplicity of it. Um, you know, there's not so many gotchas when you're trying to set up a business. There's not so much, um, there's not, there's, there's, there's no, there's zero, very, very, very small amount of violence and crime in comparison 
to living in uh, the UK or in Paris or you know in flipping New York or whatever. You can let your children go out and you know go run around around the neighborhood with the other children and not be concerned that you're going to have some crazy kiddie fiddler come along and try to take your child away. You can spend your Sunday evenings every month of the year going to the beach and enjoying warm sunshine. Those things are priceless. That, that kind of quality of life is priceless. And yeah, man, the place, the place needs work. You know, there is like a lack of, of systems. There's, there's people who are able to like, you know, and, it, and that slows down progress. Those of us who've been in the, in the, in the, from the diaspora, can help with those, you know. We need city planners. We need people who can deal with um, education, like on a, you know, on a curriculum level. We need people who um, understand medicine. You know, I was talking to one sister, and she was talking about how she's trying to open a, a clinic for for women, you know, especially around pregnancy. We need OBGYNs because. The amount of times I've heard in the last five years of, of from men whose wives have died in pregnancy, or their wife and their baby, or their or just the baby, have died. And don't, please don't have a, have a go at me for using the word just. I don't mean just as in it's only a baby. I mean just as in the wife survived the trauma. Too many people die for that reason in this country. There was a street festival the other day. And about four children died because a taxi driver drove, plowed into the into the into the crowd because there was no kind of like health and safety around running a street parade. Now, you know, if you do a street parade anywhere else, you've got like the police way ahead and the police way behind to ensure that there's safety in the crowd. Stuff like that we can be like bringing into people's attention here. So yeah, man, we need we need more people from the diaspora to come. Um, you know, come and check out the place. See what you what you think. If it if it if it fits what you're looking for, you know, if it gives you the the peace of mind and the quality of life that you're looking for, and then what you could put back is something that's a, a, of use. Hi, morning. Of, of use to to uh, the country. Yeah, consider doing that. I really think that would be a great idea. Um, yeah, man. There's there's a possibility for everybody. The, the possibilities are endless mm -hmm. here. Yeah, it's all right. I quite like it. Here. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, don't let the naysayers get you down. Don't let them stop you on your journey. Understand that every pioneer, I don't care whether it's whether it's Lewis Latimer or whether it's George Washington Carver, they all had people going, yeah, nah, 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 nah. What, what do you mean? car plant are you crazy no no cars are done one at a time bro we don't do cars as a you know build cars on a plant these black people yeah people have been naysaying us for hundreds of years and we're still here we're still the dopest set of people on the planet so come on reach over if you want to this is Marley I'm signing off peace